Hello, everyone. How are you? Hi, Alex and Sherry. How are you? Well, um, we are going to dive straight in tonight. We left off on, what's today? Friday. We left off on Wednesday. We finished the orange background for this candy. Hi, Lisa. Um, so we are going to go ahead. I'm going to turn this down just a smidge. Um, we're going to go ahead and dive right in. Um, I already have my colors picked out. So the ones we are starting with are going to be ultramarine light, intense blue, and cobalt. Cold, that's a really hard word to say. Hi, Kenny. Cobalt turquoise. Why did I want to say Texas? Oh my gosh. Words are hard. Exclamation point words. Cobalt turquoise green. Oh my gosh. Try and say that 10 times fast. Holy heck. Okay. Well, that's what we're going to start with. All right. So let's go ahead and zoom on in here we're gonna sure let's see where do we want to shift this so we've got room let's put it over here how is everyone uh, this evening all right so let's zoom in there we go all right so we are going to start with this top one with the ultramarine green i don't really have any announcements for today um nothing really new going on uh, i finally watched the gilded age and uh, Call the Midwife, the new season 10, is available on Netflix, so I started that up as well. I'm telling you, Call the Midwife, I don't think I ever go an entire season without shedding a tear, man. That, that show is rough, but it's so good. It's so good. And then they did their 10-year anniversary one. So I think, I think I'm all caught up, but the thing that is, is UK gets those episodes before we do. So I'm sure those of you based in the UK know what's going to happen in the story before all of us but i managed to avoid uh i think most most spoilers but it was still it's so good all right so we're just going to use the ultramarine light also um i watched free guy for those of you that enjoy video games you would probably find it enjoyable i found it hilarious ryan reynolds is just comedic genius Okay, let's see. Now, next, let's go ahead and use Intense Blue for the alternating. Because we did an orange background, that is why I am choosing a blue candy here to begin with. But yeah, it was really good. Hi, Sarah. How are you? How is everybody? Everybody ready for the weekend? Any fun plans? Anything exciting happen today? Little Emily has a birthday party to go to this weekend, so that should be fun. Okay, now let's go ahead. Hi, Christina. Let's go ahead and use the cobalt turquoise green. Actually, it was pretty warm here today, too. It's the warmest it's been in a while. Not complaining, I actually prefer the cold, but yes, it was very warm here today. All right, and then ultramarine light. We're just alternating rows here. Also, was it Target today? I realized Target actually had quite a few uh, gluten-free options that I hadn't found at HEB yet before. In fact, those, um, what are they called? The, like, the Ho-Ho's or the Ding Dong's? Basically, it's the cho chocolate cupcake with the chocolate frosting on top. It's like a little Debbie brand with the whipped cream in the middle. Well, I found the same people who make the donuts that I like make those, and I brought those home. I was pretty excited about that. Although then I made the mistake of eating one on an empty stomach and it was a bit too rich. So I was like, all right, I should probably plan ahead next time. They also make a cheesecake, but I thought I should probably slow down on, oh, I just realized I did the wrong one. Uh, slow down, snack cakes, yeah, they're so good. But yeah, I realized I should probably slow down on how many desserts I actually bring home because then I will actually eat them all. Um, but the cheesecake is something to try in the future for sure. Especially because with my birthday coming up, I've been trying to figure out what I want to do for a dessert. Last year, we just made cake and I ate it anyway, but then I was just miserable. So I'd rather not end up miserable. So I've been trying to think up an alternative. 
Oh, really, Alex? How was it? Oh, jealous. I bet you it was beautiful. All right, cobalt turquoise green. Okay. Let's go ahead and use some aubergine. Hi, Leona. Welcome. And you got happy mail. Very nice. Which happy mail did you get? All right, so now we're going to do the aubergine on this side. I also posted today, I've got it still in my scanner. Um, I finished, I finished that uh, Christine Karen work in progress that I use with the Durant drawing pencils. You can see it posted on, uh, on my Insta and basically everywhere where I posted, I went ahead and put it up. Hi Jen, how are you? Hi Daniela. Paul Rubin watercolors, nice. How do you like them? Okay, so we're just using aubergine. All right, let's go ahead and do, hmm. Let's actually grab our white. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. Um, let's do, let's do a little bit of white along the edge. Just a bit. And we're gonna do some white highlights, but we'll do that after we do all the candies. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Ooh, very nice, Alex. Hi, Vue, how are you? Awesome, Jen, I'm glad to hear it. Well, you have to let me know, Alex, that's awesome. Oop, I bumped the mic. All right, let's grab our pencils again here. We need to figure out what color to do the next candy. Let's do it in a... Let's see, let's grab, hmm, I'm thinking ultramarine violet. Ultramarine violet, and then we're gonna get Delft blue. And then I saw that the season two of Bridgerton is on Netflix now. So I have that one on my queue to watch whenever I get the time. Let's see, cobalt blue light, this one here, perfect. There we go. All right, so we're gonna start with the, which one was it? Ultramarine Violet. And actually, even though it's got the design on it, I, I think I'm just gonna do it one, one whole color here maybe. So I'm curious what direction that's gonna go. Cause I guess the way that it's set up is that each season will be about a different child. It's not necessarily following the same characters from the previous, same main characters as the previous season. So we shall see. What is everybody working on right now? Are you coloring along? Are you coloring something else? go. All right, now let's go ahead and use the Delft Blue. There we go. And the ch -ch 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 Cobalt Blue Light. And this will probably be the last night with this one. So we can go ahead and start something new next. Okay, now we're gonna use aubergine. So we are just gonna try and get as far as we can get with this one. Let's actually grab a little bit of green also. Let's see, which green do we want? Ooh, let's grab cypress green. There we go. 
Turtle hashtag, nice. Very nice. And just a little bit of the cypress green in a few spots. There we go. All right. Oh, nice, Alex. Yes, I saw your progress on that so far, Alex. It looks great. Hi, Tanya. Using Ergosofts. Very nice. I approve. Okay, cobalt blue light again. Okay, and then let's go ahead and use our white. Okay. I feel like we need to darken this up still a little bit more. Let's grab, let's grab Terra Verde Deep. Let's see, here we go. So a little bit of darkness on that side. go okay now let's do this one and I think let's do let's do a nice light blue outside nice Alex yeah we had our spring break a little bit ago I know that we're usually about a week off from yours all right so now let's go ahead and do let's see cobalt turquoise okay and we're gonna do, let's see, teal green. Hi, Ev, how are you? Give it a quick sharpen. There we go, teal green, cobalt turquoise. And let's do, let's do ultramarine light, which I think we already have out. Yes, we do, okay. There we go. Not sure what color we'll do the circles yet. I haven't decided. But then we'll have to start thinking about our next color background. I think I had decided what this one was going to be, but maybe not. I don't quite remember. I'm leaning towards yellow, to be honest. You're alive and that's the best you can say? Oh. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not sorry you're alive. I'm just saying if that's, if that's the best, it sounds like it was a little bit of a rough week. Well, hopefully you can relax a little bit this weekend and start fresh next week. Okay, now let's do teal green. So we're just basically doing three different kind of blue candies here. Ooh, Clockwork Prince. I started Clockwork Princess. Oh, nice. Is that in the, um, sorry, I missed it. Was that in the new Kirby book? I realized I hadn't pre-ordered it for some reason. Okay. We're still just using teal green. It's a really pretty color. Okay, and then week in a nutshell, went to conference, was told by organizer to be there Monday and Tuesday. Was was it planned for longer or shorter? Okay, cobalt cobalt turquoise oh my gosh cobalt by itself is just a difficult word to say like I feel like my tongue trips all over the place okay let's do for the dots hmm I'm leaning towards yellow let's start with lemon yellow 
Oh, a fiction. Get there. Got that. Get there. Found out. No, we needed to be there Wednesday and Thursday. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Ev. Hi, Louise. How are you? All right. So lemon yellow is what we're gonna start with. A thousand. Oh, because it was so far away. Oh, hon, I'm so sorry. What a rough week. That is no fun. Okay, and then let's grab Marigold. Actually put all the pencils away. Dang. Was it just you or was there like a group of you? And if so, were they all pretty upset as well? Okay, just using a little bit of marigold there. Now we're gonna switch to aubergine. Did you at least have a good audiobook to listen to? Since I finished uh, Mistborn, I am now working on the first book in the Stormlight Archive. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. I've just gotten started on it, but I feel like Mistborn was kind of a rough start in the beginning too, so. I don't wanna, I don't wanna say anything too much about it. Well, at least you guys had a nice road trip together, I suppose. Lots of conversation, maybe? Possibly? <laughs> I'm assuming everybody else was just as upset. I'm using the white Prismacolor. Okay. All right, let's get our white here for our highlights. Double check which which of these is gonna work for us here. Come on, sticky note. There we go. Not that one. I do need to give it a good shake though. Oh no. So it's been a little bit of chaos then. Just a little bit. A little bit of, a little bit of stuff. Okay, let's break out our gel pens. Oh, I gotcha. So it wasn't like you guys all carpooled in one big van. Okay, we're gonna use the lightest blue. Let's see, what else do we wanna use? Let's use the lightest blue. And let's use our orange. Wait, do I have two oranges in here? Uh, we have a lighter orange. We're gonna use the blue and the lighter orange. Hi, Renee. Thank you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Roll up. Roll, roll, roll back a little bit. We need to get an orange, and we need to add a little bit more to this background. We're gonna grab terracotta and cadmium orange deep. Terracotta and cadmium orange deep. There's cadmium orange. There it is, cadmium orange deep. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I bet she's feeling awesome about all that. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna start with terracotta and we will work around that gel pen that we already put down. Was when you eventually made it to the right days on the conference, was it at least productive? Oh, thanks, Renee. Good contacts this week was a bad week to waste extra days since we have federal dead. Oh, I gotcha. So now you guys are going to have to make up that time. I gotcha.
Are you going to have to work on this weekend then? Okay, let's go ahead and do a little bit of this cadmium orange deep. Just a little bit. Okay, and then let's grab, let's grab a little bit of sepia. Oh, Renee, I didn't realize you weren't feeling well. Just a little cold. All right, uh, so sepia, a little bit of this brown. So the next question is, what do you guys want to work on next? Any, uh, any requests? Maybe I should do like a poll in the community tab, see which artist everyone wants to do next. All right. Oh, I'm sorry, Renee. Hopefully you feel a little bit better soon. Well, not a little bit better. I hope you feel a lot better soon. Okay, so I have this little mark, right? Oh gosh, you can't even see, sorry. I have this little mark right here. I'm trying to decide if I should just try and ignore it or maybe put a little bit of white. Do a little bit of white. White's gonna be less noticeable than a black mark. There we go, that's better. Okay, let's do a little bit of blue and then we're gonna use the orange. And this, out of the super glitter gel pens, this is the lightest blue in the set. Okay, and the orange. Almost there. There we go. All right, so there's those candies. Oh, did you guys all see at the end of the month, uh, Johanna is gonna be over on Barbara's channel. I think it is on the 30th, and I think for central time, it'll be 9 a.m. So it'll be right before my stream on that Wednesday. So that's super exciting. Okay, so now it's time to pick up pencils and switch to watercolor. We're just gonna put these in the jar here. Ooh, I feel like I got a sneeze coming on. Oh, wait a minute. <coughs> oh no, my thing, sorry, I tried to mute it, but my mute button isn't working. I pushed the button, I'm like, it's not working. <laughs> okay, well, you guys got to hear that sneeze and it was probably a little louder than uh, I anticipated. Sorry about that. I tried to mute it, it didn't work. <laughs> All right, let's get our paint, shall we? Thank you. <laughs> I tried, I really did. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, Lord. Okay, so now we're gonna go with yellow. Yellow, yellow. And let's look at our chart, which yellow we want. I think cadmium yellow, actually. I usually go with the lightest one, but I think we're gonna go with this one right here. Okay, so we're gonna start with our yellow, go to a clean part of the palette here, even though it looks, I don't know if you can see here. There you go. See, it's just it's just a well-loved palette, that's all. Hey, Steve! Everyone's Steve. Yeah, but I feel bad when I do it right in your ears, especially like if somebody's wearing headphones, they get me sneezing right in their ears. It's like, my bad. Okay. Now we're gonna move that little bit over here. Okay. So now we're gonna get this yellow, just like we did the other ones. 
But what we're not going to do is stick our hand in the other paint. That's what we're not going to do. <laughs> okay. But yeah, that'll be super exciting because, you know, uh, Johanna's been a bit kind of MIA while she finishes the book. She's back on social media now. Maybe not as much as she was before, but that should be super exciting. So if you're curious who I'm talking about, uh, Barbara Color, color spelled with an O-U. Um, that's hers on YouTube. And yeah, that'll be on Wednesday. And then Johanna's next book comes out in October, Rooms of Wonder. I feel like it's soon. But then I think, oh wait, October, like by that time, the kids will be in their next year of school already and we haven't even hit summertime. So really it's a little ways out, but you know, a girl can dream. Okay. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get this dried real quick. Right, it looks so good. I love how she just keeps seeming to make her books different every time. I don't know how she does that. Like you think with her style, it's just gonna be the same thing every time, but it's just not, it's so good. All right, just gonna get this dried and then we'll start with this. And we're gonna start with some purple candies. We'll maybe bring in a little bit of orange on it as well. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. If you count pink as red, I think we've done, <laughs> you could count this one up here as indigo. That one was unplanned, but I feel like we've got the whole run of the rainbow here. Probably a nice color would be maybe a different type of green on this next one here. That might look nice. All right, that one is all dry. Let's bring back our pencils. Okay. So let's see, we're gonna start with purple. So we're gonna go with uh, Purple Lake Deep, Purple Lake, and I think Lavender. I think that'll be easy enough. They are all right next to each other. And all, well, I think almost all these candies are the same. These two are the same. This one's a little bit different. So we'll start with those purples and then go from there. Okay. This one a quick sharpen. And this one. Okay. <laughs> Any time, Ev. We all have those weeks. Truth be told, this week's been a little bit wonky for me, too, but that's just because I got some other stuff going on. All right, so now we're going to do Purple Lake Deep. Now, I did get some of this yellow over the candies, but it's okay. We're going to make it work. So the outside of all these are going to be the purple, and it's the inside that will be a little bit different. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to go ahead and do this one. Make sure we're still in frame. Yes. And actually, considering how little this space is, I don't think we'll use the purple lake. I think we'll go right into the lavender. Okay, so now we're going to use lavender. No one saw that. Oh, we're definitely going to need to make that darker on the edge. We'll just finish off the lavender and then we'll darken it up. Let's look at our color chart here and see if we have anything darker. Ultra, oh, mulberry. Mulberry's pretty nice and dark. Let's grab mulberry. 
Give it a nice sharpen real quick. Okay. There we go. Okay, so mulberry. Okay, and then we will do, yeah, for sure. Shoot, I don't know what you're talking about, Ev. I have no idea. <laughs> Drinking from my awesome Shannon cup. Okay, so let's grab, let's see, Purple Lake Deep. Just a little bit there and then we need to do the edges here too so let's actually start with the mulberry Maybe orange and green would be good here. So we'll get some greens out as well. That adds more memory to my phone and I've never had one before. Once I move stuff to the card, can I delete them from the phone? I believe so because it's two different storage spaces. So if you move, like let's say you have 50 photos on your phone and you move them to your SD card, then it's on two completely different file systems. What you can do is they have the mini SD cards and then they have what are like the retainers for the mini SD cards. And those are things that you can put directly into laptop, into a laptop. So if you wanted to back up the photos even more, put them in the mini SD card Get, a, get make sure you have a little retainer. If you buy a mini SD card, it should come with the regular SD card one that you can put it into and then plug it into your computer. Then you can back those photos up onto your computer as backup. But because it's two different storage spaces, you should be fine. But if you always wanna double check, put all, before you delete them off your phone, put them onto the SD card, then plug the SD card into your computer and then make sure all of the photos are stored onto that SD card. Then you can delete the stuff that's on your phone, if that makes sense. Uh, let's see, let's do, let's do lavender. But yes, it should be fine. Think of it like a computer that has a uh, solid state drive and a dedicated hard drive. Basically what it has is it has a hard drive that's attached to the computer and then it has its own separate hard drive. So a lot of times if you have a computer that has a separate hard drive, it's nice because you can have that much more uh, storage space on your computer. <laughs> I have I have my my slight computer knowledge here. But you're also talking to someone who has an external hard drive for like photos of the kids, but then I have a backup external hard drive uh in case for some reason that hard drive goes out because I really don't want to uh In fact, when we when that tornado was going over, I mean, it was legitimately scary like it it got so close. Like I said, I felt the I'm using a uh, mulberry I felt the pressure change in my ears. One of the things that I grabbed for our emergency stash once the kids were all, you know, safely safely tucked away and everything was my external hard drives because it has, it has all, all the uh, pictures of the kids on it. And I've always thought that that's gonna be super handy because even if everything gets destroyed, as long as I have one of those hard drives wherever we are squirreled away at, you know, and safe, then I'll have all of those memories saved. Hey, Sandy, head to bed. Bye, chat. <laughs> Ooh, ice cream. I like it. Okay. Not me. Someone else. Kenny's getting ice cream. Not me. <laughs> she popped her head back in. She's like, ice cream? All right. Let's grab our oranges that we had out already. Now, I mean, obviously, I don't know exactly what kind of phone you have, but it should work as a completely separate storage. 
Got a new phone a few weeks ago. Hubby got me a card that fits right into the phone. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, as long as you can make sure, I, before you delete anything, I would plug that extra card into your computer just to make sure that you you did in fact transfer them before you do any deleting. Oh, nice. I, I don't quite have the knowledge to build a computer, but as far as like, so for instance, my computer lately has been running a little bit slow. Um, just slow loading some web pages and everything else. And there's a list of things you can do when your computer is running slow. You can, um, well, I'm here, let me grab my colors first. Let's start with terracotta. Um, you can, first of all, open up space on your, <laughs> Kenny, I don't share. Um, oh, I'm glad of. Uh, you can clear out space on your computer, which I did. Half my hard drive is empty now. I deleted, you know, old stuff I don't need, all that kind of stuff. You can clear your hard drive to make more space. You can defrag your computer. You can shut down any unnecessary programs. Go to your startup section. Make sure there aren't a bunch of programs starting up that don't need to be started up, like Microsoft OneDrive. That always starts up. You don't really need that. Um, you know, make sure that your antivirus isn't running uh, any antivirus scans that it doesn't need to, all that kind of stuff. Um, let's see, let's start with terracotta. There's just like this whole long list. So I went through the whole gambit. My computer's still running a little funky, but I'm not entirely sure what it is. So I'm gonna have to putter around on there. Here's a question for you though. For those of you that know uh, gardening stuff. So I am trying to figure out what to do about our garden. So you all know that we just had that huge downpour you know, we had the wind and the, the tornadoes and all that kind of stuff. Well, needless to say, the the garden got very, very wet. It's got extremely wet. And uh, the leaves on like the lettuce especially turned a little bit yellow. And from all the research I've done, that just means that it's been overwatered. Now I can't control the weather and the garden is planted directly in the ground. So I kind of just wait for it to dry considering that it was so wet. Um, let's see, let's do, we're going to do green and yellow on that one. We'll do orange and yellow on this one and green and yellow on that one. Um, anyway, so I've been letting it kind of dry up a little bit, but I almost think now I need to create some sort of shade over the top just because like the, we had some strawberries that were almost ripe and they looked, they looked just about there yesterday. And then we got to them today and it was like the sun just practically cooked them today but the lettuce is still wilty. Like the top layer, the very top layer of soil has kind of dried out, but if you stick your finger into the soil, it feels incredibly wet. So I'm just not sure, we're gonna use the marigold now. Um, I'm just not sure because it's like, okay, well clearly it was overwatered from the storm, but now like the lettuce still feels kind of wilty, but I can't control the water that's actually, honestly, I thought planting the stuff directly in the ground was gonna make it easier. But on one hand, it's almost made it more difficult. I don't know, do we have any garden experts in the chat that can help me diagnose my garden and why it's having a tantrum? <laughs> All right, lemon yellow. I'm just not entirely sure how to go about helping them feel better short of making sure that they get some shade. Aerate it? How do you do that? Row covers will protect? Okay. Talk to me like I'm a complete garden novice because I totally am. I completely am. So what do you, like, if my dad was here, he could help me through the whole thing. He's like a garden master. He's planted so much stuff. But my poor little wilty garden out there, it looks like it's just like breathing heavily. A soil test? What would a soil test tell me? Like whether or not I don't know, isn't the word like alkali a good thing? I don't know. <laughs> Hi, Ronnie. I mean, it grows grass and weeds well enough back there, but I haven't ever tried planting anything else. I think I just, uh, I'm using, I can't remember if I said it, I'm using marigold. I think maybe I just don't know enough. Maybe it wasn't as easy as, because when we made, when we dug up the garden, um, I, we, we dug the hole and then I mixed potting soil in with some of the dirt and then I planted everything there. I don't know, I guess I have a little bit of a black thumb. I'm not gonna lie. Like me and living things, we, we struggle. We really do. <laughs> I just, I just don't know what to do for it. The tomatoes seem to be doing okay. There's a little tomato about the size of a marble the kids are excited about, but I don't want him to get excited about it only to have the thing die already. So 
I don't know, clearly, clearly I'm not doing something right. All right, let's go ahead and use aubergine a little bit, just on one side here. I really just need my dad to come visit and so be like, Dad, can you fix my tiny little garden, please? Oh, okay. Wait, poor cats. What happened to the cats? Hi, Melissa. <laughs> So do they have like soil test kits or do I have to bring like a soil sam sample somewhere to get it tested? All right, so now we're gonna use lemon yellow. And we're gonna do this middle part yellow as well. Okay, let's grab our green. Let's do, oh, trim the lettuce. Oh, yes, I am. That's a good idea, Leslie. Oh, <laughs> okay, l l let, me, let me clarify. I can keep four-legged and two-legged living things alive. As long as you've got legs, I can keep you alive. Unless you're a bug. In that case, if you have too many legs, I'm, I'm not gonna let you live. I'm sorry, it's, it's bugs or blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> uh, okay, um, let's see. Let's grab phthalo green light. Phthalo green light and actually let's do castle green deep and leaf green middle. Oh, did you really, Lisa? Okay. Lisa, what are you planning on growing? All right, castle green deep. Where are you? What number are you? You are number 57. Three, 57, here we are. Okay, so castle green deep and leaf green middle is number 60. Leaf green middle, here we are. I mean, I just wanna be able to harvest something that isn't gonna fall apart. Okay, so let's use Castle Green Deep. Oh, nice. Yeah, me and me and plants. I try every year. I absolutely try, but it doesn't usually live that long. Okay, now leaf green middle. No one saw that. Okay, I wanna use a little bit of green here. Green here. Okay, and then we're gonna use the aubergine again. It's the same thing for me. It's like, it's kind of like when you, when you have babies and you give birth, like you give birth, you have your baby and then you kind of forget, like your body just sort of forgets and so does your mind about how painful and hard pregnancy was and labor and delivery. And you go, I want another one. Babies are so cute. So for gardening, it's more like, you know, I go through all spring going, why can't I keep it alive? Why is everything so wilty? Why do my leaves have brown spots? And then the next spring goes, I can do it. And then, and then it's, it's, a vicious circle, honestly. It just happens over and over. <laughs> you think I'd learn by now. You'd think. Okay, so now I want to darken up the yellow background a little bit. So let's get the yellow ochre, I think, and cadmium yellow deep. Okay. Yellow ochre. Where are you? What number are you? You are... 77 there we go and cadmium yellow deep is 75 honestly i think that's why we keep having children over and over because we forget about it <laughs> never give up never surrender right seriously okay yellow ochre 
I just always feel mildly guilty for the plants I choose to bring home. Like I feel like as we as we push them out in the cart to the to the car to take them home, like there should be some like sad lamenting song. Did you put plant tone of any kind in the soil? Wait, what's plant tone? I I used the 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 soil and mixed it in with there. What what's plant tone? I, why can't it just be as simple as sticking the plant in the dirt and then nature knows what to do? That's 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 how it works, right? Right? <laughs> I'm clearly a terrible gardener. I mean, I try to protect it, you know, I've got a cover for it to protect it from, you know, the downpour of the rain and everything, but it's this Texas heat. It makes it so difficult. I wanted this to work, but I don't know. We just may end up having just a very sad square patch of dirt in our yard that tried to hold plant life at one point. Like, I feel like all the other plants should be saluting my plants as I roll them out of the store. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. You know, some of them reads a eulogy. <laughs> it's the end of the world as we know it. You know, the other strawberry plants in the, on, the, on the rack just salute him and go, it was a good strawberry plant. We had high hopes. We can't always have what we hope. Espoma plant tone fertilizer. I will write that down and research it because I have never heard of it. I've heard of fertilizer, but not that. All right. Espoma. Ooh, it's organic. All right. Plant. Plant. I can't. I can't write tone fertilizer. Okay. Okay, so now cadmium yellow deep. So, uh, Angela, are you a proficient gardener then? Is there any possible chance you could hop on an airplane, fly down to Texas, and come heal my garden? Espoma is the brand. Okay. Steve, what do you think? Should Angela come down here and try to save my garden before it goes completely sad? <laughs> he said that incredibly fast. Hi, Thea. It stinks to high heaven, but it works. Will it affect the flavor of like the, the, the vegetables or anything? All right, so that's the yellow. Let's dig out our gel pens. I try. <laughs> well, I mean, if yours haven't died right away, you're already doing better than me. So congrats. Thumbs up. That's thumbs up for you. <laughs> Right, and I'm trying. I'm really trying. Our poor little strawberries. I look. I, I just. I, I look outside, and they just look at me, and they cry. Like literally cry. Read all labels carefully. See, that's the thing. That's the thing. Is the lettuce is supposed to have some shade during the day, so should I get like a like a mesh net that a, like does a little bit of shade a little bit better? I mean, because I guess it doesn't have much shade now. I don't know, is the garden on the side of the house that gets the most sun? In the afternoon. I guess in the afternoon. Does it get much shade in the morning? Yeah, but that's also when it's cooler. Yeah. I don't know. Steve, will you build me a greenhouse for my tiny garden? And Steve, will you learn how to build me a tiny greenhouse for my garden? <laughs> yes okay maybe that's what i'll do because i could pin up i could pin up a little bit of like shade for it maybe it'll look slightly less pathetic slightly all right we're gonna use the orange that's that's our goal is slightly less pathetic and at least one thing we can harvest so my children aren't horribly disappointed by our garden progress this year, but I may have to fight off my dog from eating them first. <laughs> Especially for veggies. Okay. Hey, you know what? Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Thing of it is, is like we have neighbors like pretty close by. And if they look out their windows, they could see down in our yard. And if they see me sitting there with like an umbrella, they're just going to think I'm completely nuts. If they don't already. Mm 
which is very possible that they do. Hey, hey now. I already know you think I'm nuts. All right, so we're gonna use lime green. I really like this lime green one. Like at first glance, you think it's a yellow gel pen, but it's really not. I knew a candy page would give us such, you know, just kind of happy, fun colors. There we go. All right, let's get our white. Fertilizing once a month. What does it mean if I've had this garden for like three weeks and it's already dying though? I mean, it doesn't bode well for me, does it? Not a word from you, Steve. I can feel your comments. Mm hmm Your silence speaks volumes. Okay. Let us move on to this one. So I'm thinking green. We'll do a slightly different green this time. Let's look at our watercolor palette here. Oh, upside down. Hang on. There we go. Um, let's do let's do fern green. I think fern green would be nice. I mean, heck, it's paint. We could always even mix and make our new kind of green. Oh, absolutely, Kenny. Everybody's a little bit nuts. Even Steve is a little bit nuts, but that's mostly just because he married me and I probably have done some damage. Ah, there you go. All right, um, let's see. The thing is, is I just don't remember my dad ever shading his lettuce, but granted, we didn't live in Texas at the time, so he probably didn't need to. This garden probably wasn't screaming going, someone, someone competent, come garden me. <laughs> um, maybe, but I don't know what that means. Like literally when I dug it out, I got the soil that was meant specifically for a vegetable garden. And when we dug the hole, I took out most of the original, like actual earth soil, left a little bit in and mixed it with the vegetable soil that I got from Lowe's and then mixed it all in and then planted the plants. All right, fern green is this one down here. So let's turn this so you all can see it. And I'm just saying this to remind myself, we are not going to put our hands in the paint. I remember my dad, like, I don't know, I probably went into this very uneducated. I probably should have done a bit more, I don't know, I guess I just assumed if I watered it, it would be good. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna do a little bit of the green. That's very wet. Let's go ahead and zoom on in just a bit there. Hi, Marie. Did I test it? I did not. No, I didn't test it at all. I didn't, honestly, I didn't even think of that. I was just like, woohoo, garden, gonna plant it. Woo, and grabbed a shovel and started digging. I, I tend to get excited about projects and then, and then I just do them and probably don't do the research. Although I suppose I did do the research about nibbles. We did, we did wait and we, you know, got plenty of research about nibbles, but I have a little bit of a history of uh, doing impulse projects and probably not researching enough before I dive in. And then I end up things like wilty lettuce and mushy strawberries. So you, you would think I would learn by now. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yay, the carrots are coming up and, and nothing has full on died yet. No, nothing is completely dead. It's just, my my plants are feeling emotional, okay? Maybe, maybe 
they they are empathetic to to emotional days can can plants have a time of the month maybe it's my plants time of the month it's very possible if i buy my plants chocolates will they feel better i know i do i mean you know maybe i just need to you know we've got some gnomes in the garden maybe we can just we can just bring a, a pile of reese's out you know set it in front of the gnomes as a little garden piece offering and when i go back in the gnomes can you know hand them out and 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 everybody's fine i mean it could be a thing right does it have hard soil um i was able to dig it up does that mean it's not hard wow i have never sounded more uneducated in my life <laughs> Get them some dairy dew. I'm down with that. I don't know. Peace offering of chocolate might do it. I mean, cacao, that's technically a plant. Maybe they'll see how how well this cacao plant was treated and turned into something delicious that they'll be like, oh man, I wish I could be turned into a delicious treat. You know what I do? I'll 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 live and I'll I'll grow until they can harvest me. That that's my plan now. I have indeed, Marie. I have indeed. There's going to be a new episode uh, coming up. So I've read the books before, but I didn't remember how some of the things went. So I refreshed, um, refreshed my memory a little bit. So I know now kind of where the season is going. And I'll admit, I'm very impressed with how they've set up the characters as to who you assume the villain of the of the season is going to be. I forgot how well that was done. I think they're doing a really good job. It is hard. I thought it was initially, but then I realized I was digging too close to the foundation uh, and I was just hitting cement. <laughs> they would probably prefer Epsom salt. Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> right, Ev? It's just... Yeah. Well, I've heard of like talking and singing to your plants. Maybe if I go out there and like sing them a melody, They'll start growing just to make me stop. Local casino, when my 90-year-old dad wants to go, I go, I want to, dad won as well. Oh, awesome, Deborah, that's amazing. Oh, I won't give up until, until the plants do. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll have to take a look at it. I'm definitely gonna look into getting it some shade. Maybe I can rig up something that like, I can, I can put it up above the garden, because the garden's not big. The garden's probably about like the length of my desk. It's really not that big. And so like maybe I can roll down like a shade and then, I don't know. Thanks, Marie. I'm gonna get a sip of water here from my Shannon cup. Ugh, so tasty. Okay, so we got green. Let's see, we already have some blue candies there. I'm thinking pink and I'm looking at the wrong, I was looking at the paint palette. I'm like, oh yeah, we'll do this with pink, but still pink and maybe a darker kind of pink. That is true, that is true. It's kind of like, you know, when you have kids and your kids have a goldfish and then your goldfish dies and then you quickly go get new goldfish to replace said dead goldfish. So child never knows the goldfish died. That could work, right? With thriving lettuce plants, took three days before they were all dead. Like someone did a mass murder on them. Oh no! They do have garden shade cloth. Okay, yeah, I'm thinking another trip to Lowe's will be in order. Oh, I didn't even think about that. So far, knock on wood, no bugs have found it, but it's probably only a matter of time. They're probably all still hibernating. It's only just starting to warm up here. Okay, so pink, let's do grenadine light cherry pink and cadmium red so grenadine light cherry pink and cadmium red okay let's give this a quick sharpen i just want the kids to be able to harvest something for it like I said, the tomatoes uh, about the size of a marble, but I really think, I really think that storm just overwatered everything. I mean, like before I could go out and, and cover it so that the yard water wouldn't stop flowing into it. I mean, there was standing water in the garden. There was so much 
You think, Marie? Like strawberries too? Honestly, the whole reason I got excited about planting them in the ground was that maybe in case I forgot to water them, they might stand a little bit better of a chance, but I don't even know at this point. They're probably just begging me to stop watering them and stop torturing them. <laughs> oh, nice, Debra. That happened once in, in Oregon where it was snow in April. Right? That's what I'm looking forward to. All right, so cadmium red. I mean, everything that we planted was, um, oh, there's jelly beans here too, was a couple different, we have spinach and lettuce, and then the kids planted spinach seeds at school, which was the whole reason this started anyway, because they wanted to be able to plant their lettuce at home. And we planted some carrots, which are probably all going to mesh together because little Steve dropped quite a few carrot seeds in there. Um, we have the tomato plant, and then we have two strawberry plants, and I think that's it. Nothing? You saw nothing. I wouldn't mind having like a plum tree at some point. Now a tree is a little bit big for us to plant at a rented place, you know, like a small little garden. That's something you can put back to normal before you leave. But I think whenever we go, wherever we're going eventually to like settle in our forever home, I think I would like to go somewhere where I can plant some sort of fruit tree and then hire someone to keep it alive. Oh, will they really? Hosta roots to plant. What are hosta roots? I thought about beans. I don't know what you're talking about, F. I have no idea what you're talking about. My only thought was the way that they climb and stuff. I wasn't sure how much they would spread. We actually do have uh, bean seeds. Bean seeds. Beans. The beans are the seeds. I don't know what I'm talking about. But we did get a package of green beans, but we just ran out of room in the garden to plant them. So we could always still plant them. I'd need to get some sort of trellis for it, right? Maybe that would be something worth planting in a pot and like placing it next to the garden. Okay, so now we're gonna do cherry pink. What, what are hostas? Are they something edible or just they grow everywhere? At this point, I'll just be happy if they grow anything. <laughs> But the garden itself is walled off by a little fence on either side of it and then um, and then bricks around it. Okay. Grandma had apricot tree and I've never had a good good apricot since my child. So sweet and juicy. Aw. There you go. Jack and the beanstalk. All right. Grenadine light. Okay, we're gonna get some aubergine in here. Oh, a leafy flower. Okay, okay. I got a tulip plant, but then I remembered that once they bloom, that's kind of it. Like they don't re-bloom. So now I've just got this sort of stem in a pot and I'm like, well, this is exciting. Okay. Will they really? You know, I honestly would probably be okay with that because the other ones won't survive. So if I just end up with a ton of strawberries, like I'll be cool with that. All right, cherry pink. I think at this point, I'll just be happy if anything survives it. Okay, let's do now magenta. Magenta and how would you pronounce that? Jaipur? I don't, I don't even know. Would you pronounce it Jaipur or is there another way to pronounce it? Exactly. Ooh, like a lemon tree? Oh, a lemon tree would be cool. If you plant it in the ground, gotcha. Oh, the tulip bulb? Yeah, that one we planted in the pot only because we ran out of room in the garden. 
Are there, aside from a lemon tree, are there any other trees that you can plant in a pot? Like, I know, like, all of us, I don't know, I, maybe, maybe you guys didn't, but as a kid, let's see, what did I say? I said magenta. Uh, did you ever do that thing where you take the avocado seed and you put the toothpicks in it and then you put it in the cup of water and then you, you know, once the root starts going, then you replant it? Did anybody ever do that? I actually got really close one time to where it got to tree size and then I, it was when I was a teenager and I think we had to move or something and it didn't end up surviving, but I did get it to the point where it was like a leafy plant. So like an avocado tree, is that something that you can grow in a pot? I don't recall how big they get. Okay, what did I say? I said Jiper pink and let's get azalea pink. Ooh, a small peach tree, that could be cool. Right? I mean, who didn't? It's like, oh, free seed. You, just, you put the four toothpicks in, sit it in a cup, then you let it grow. Once it takes root, then you plant it in a pot and you let it grow from there. I should do that with the kids. They would probably love that. Hey, Steve, next time you get an avocado, send me the seed. All right, so we're gonna use magenta. I say that because I don't actually like avocados, but Steve likes them. And so do the kids. They like to make guacamole. Anybody know how long it would actually take to grow from seed to tree to when you would actually get an avocado? Kind of like grapes, where if you plant grapes, they take a couple years to actually produce any fruit. Ooh, tangerines, that'd be cool. Picked all the flower off the strawberry plant and I had to tell her that that's where the berries came from. Oh no, that's hilarious. Yeah, the kids were excited to see yellow flowers on the tomato plant. I explained that wherever there was a yellow flower, that meant a tomato was gonna try and grow. Hey, we are making really good time on these, aren't we? The fact that what the first time we the first oh i just realized i'm out of frame a little bit sorry our first stream we did one two three background then we did one two three background now we've done one two three and it's only 9 37. maybe we will get this done you never did that oh ev it's so fun you should do it now <laughs> Oh, harvest dates will be in the description. Gotcha. Ooh, what about date trees? That is true. We do not have deer eat our tomatoes. That is true. Also because we have a fenced yard. The only thing that has gotten in our yard is, uh, turns out one of the neighboring houses, their dogs were digging a hole on the opposite side of the fence that we have. And we were all in the living room and we looked up and there's this tiny little dog in our backyard. Now we don't have a dog at all. And at first I thought I was seeing things. We looked out the window and there's this, this tiny little dog. And I'm like, uh, like I have no idea what's going on. And all of a sudden it like disappears. I, we have no idea where it went. Turns out, yep, it had dug a hole in the neighboring fence. And so we ended up putting the log over the hole and then let the neighbors know, by the way, your dog likes to escape. <laughs> You can plant blueberries in pots. Oh, I should do blueberries. See, I have all these ideas. I would love to have like this giant, like fresh fruit and vegetable garden, but it's just getting it to the point where I can actually, you know, keep it alive. Okay, these two colors are not ending up as different as I would like. They're a little bit different, but I think I want to grab, let's see. Indian red light and darken up this darker one just a little bit. Uh, here we go. My son has a half lemon lime tree and half plum and nectar. What? How did you do that? I've never even heard of that. Like, so what's the, does it grow like some limes and some lemons or did it make a limon? Or a, or a lean? No, Lyman. Lyman probably makes better. Did, did, makes better, sounds better. Did he make like a brand new fruit? Okay, Indian red. And what was the other half one? He said half plum, half nectarine. Uh, that could be a 
plumarine. Plumarine. Two different. Both on one tree. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. But now I really want someone to invent the Lyman. Could you do that? Could you crossbreed fruits and make a brand new fruit? Because that would be, I'm sure you can. You would just have to be smart enough to do it, I suppose. My grandpa has apples growing on cherry trees. What? Yeah. How did he have apples growing on his cherry tree? <gasps> did he have apparies? Ap 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 called grafting. You gra like you take a branch from a healthy tree and you can graft it to it. How do you graft it? You just like, you like shave it so it's like raw on both sides and then just like tie it to the tree and hope it grows together? Yeah, you have to do it a certain way, but the idea is that the, the, the stuff inside the tree will will start taking care of it like like it's its own limb. Is is it kind of like when a dog nurses kittens? Sort of. It's kind of like thinking about like if you had an organ transplant, right? Oh. Like your body's recognizing like, oh, this is my organ now, so I'm going to take care of it. Interesting. But did he invent a Lyman? I'm asking you. Me? Yes. No. Did he invite? Did he invent a ch chairful? No. <laughs> what if it was a cherry-sized, or no, an apple-sized cherry? That'd be cool. I had a commercial blueberry farm next door when I was in my 20s. I had two bushes, and just the two gave me more than enough for freezing pies. What? Okay, Steve, I want a blueberry bush. Plant them in a pot three times the size of the root ball and transplant it every two years. I can't just leave it in there. <laughs> I love days, especially bacon wrap. Wait, bacon wrap dates? What? Oh, wait, you need at least two blueberry bushes for it to work? Crazy. Okay, I want just like a giant garden. Like I would love to settle somewhere where I do just have this mat. There was this um, place, I'm gonna use aubergine now. Uh, where I grew up and one of my neighbors, you go back behind her house and she literally had like a secret garden, but she lived up on a hill and there were different like layers to this garden and you could just like get lost in it. It was so beautiful. Like I want my own secret garden. I mean, I clearly shouldn't be the one to cultivate said garden, but I want it. Bacon wrapped dates. I've never even heard of that. I mean, I suppose it's the whole kind of like sweet and salty thing, right? Okay, now for this one, let's do, let's do, let's see. Um, what color do I want that one? Let's do mauve. Cobalt purple and lavender light. Okay, mauve, cobalt purple, and lavender light. I think we already, that's lavender. Maybe I don't have lavender light out already. Oh, it's right here. Ta -da! I had no idea that was a thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, uh, let's give this quick sharpen. Ooh, gelatos? No, they are watercolors, Arteza watercolors. Okay, so let's start with, ah, what's that color? Uh, let's see, cobalt purple? Yes, is that the order that I'm going in? Cobalt purple, mauve, and lavender light. I think my problem is I have this romanticized vision of like a garden, but then I have to remember that it's not always going to be blooming. Like I just want, once I've planted a blueberry bush, I just wanted to have blueberries year round. Strawberries year round. Like I just want them all the time. Oh, see, but I don't like mushrooms. It's not the flavor of mushrooms I don't like. 
it's the texture. I have tried, I've tried so hard, but I can't get over the texture of the mushrooms. I just, I can't do it. Ooh, nice. Oh, Alex, I miss making like homemade blackberry jam because we would, um, we would pick the blackberries and then we would can them and oh, I do miss blackberry bushes like a lot. All right, moth. I miss blackberries, not blackberry bushes. Okay, yeah, I miss black, well, no, see, I bet I miss, blackberries at the grocery store are one thing, but fresh blackberries? No, I miss, okay, I miss, I miss fresh blackberries, but not the bushes. Okay, that's right, those things crawl everywhere, but like, blackberries at the grocery store are just not the same. Like one of my all time favorite scents, and I think I've, I've said it before, is a bowl of fresh blackberries. I love the way it smells, but if you get blackberries at the grocery store, they don't have a smell like at all. But, but Angela, I want it now. <laughs> no, like I'll try, like we'll get some actually decent looking blackberries that actually taste, okay. I'm thinking this mauve was a mistake, but we're gonna roll with it. You know, we get good looking blackberries from the grocery store, but they just don't smell like anything. They have no smell, but fresh blackberries. Oh, it's just something else. Okay, we're gonna cover up that mauve a little bit. That, that mauve was a mistake. Oh dear, I went over. It's okay, we go out of the lines here, it's all good. In fact, let's do the mauve on the next one, but first we're gonna erase that one. Yeah, Alex, I absolutely wouldn't either. Like, I, I miss fresh blackberries. Like, I'm trying to remember, best time for blackberries in Oregon. That's August, right? It's in the fall, if I remember correctly. Let's see, if I'm using mauve, that's a really light color. Let's grab lavender, regular lavender. Where'd it go? Oh wait, I already had it out. There we go. Yeah, my mom used to send us out with, uh, she would save uh, gallons, like empty gallons of milk, and then when it was time to go pick them, wow, it would really help if you guys could see what I'm doing. Um, she would cut off the tops of them. We would each go out with two, uh, two gallons and she'd loop them on a belt and we would go and we would fill them up. Now, granted as a kid, I usually ate more than I picked. Um, but it was still like absolutely delicious. And then she'd make cobbler and just everything else. Saw an idea of buying a shop bat broken down and using the canister bottom as a rolling pot for tomatoes should work for anything that needs a deep pot. Oh, interesting. Okay, and then lavender. Well, for our tomato plant, we didn't get cherry tomatoes. Little Emily wanted the big slicing tomatoes. So we will have to see if we can successfully cultivate those. There we go. All right, and then we have these jelly beans. We're gonna do blue. And wash it usually ready in August. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, before we moved, um, obviously when I was older, then my mother-in-law and I, we'd go out and pick a bunch and then we would uh, can them all. Let's see, cobalt turquoise. There we go. We're gonna do one solid color here. See, now I really want to go blackberry picking. Okay, uh, and then let's grab um, ultramarine light, which I think we already have out. <laughs> nice. Uh, let's see. Ultramarine light, here we are. Gosh, I break out so many pencils. Like, look at this. 
There's so many pencils here. Like, my desk is just a disaster area right now. All right, ultramarine light. Yeah, so I'm trying to think what we should do next. I suppose we could be brave and do a Kirby page. Could do a jo another Johanna page. Could do Christine Karen, Rachel Reinert, Hannah Carlson. I'll have to browse through my books and see what jumps out at me and then maybe we'll do a poll and kind of see what everybody's in the mood for. Right, Deborah? It's gonna be nice. All right, cobalt turquoise. Now, if we can just keep any more tornadoes from happening, I will be a happy camper. I'm not kidding. That was, that was a little too close for comfort. That was probably the closest that it's ever got. Um, the second closest, I would say, would be when... Um, Steve was gone on a trip. I was pregnant with uh, little Steve. And um, the sky got super dark, like it was nighttime, even though it wasn't, because I was heating up lunch for little Emily. And we had to go, it was a time we lived in the apartment. And so we had to go downstairs with the neighbor to kind of hunker down down there. But yeah, that was a little nerve wracking. All right, aubergine. And it was that same tornado that actually, it actually touched down only a few miles from where we lived at the time. And when I went to take little Emily to gymnastics, you could see where it had just blown across the number of houses. It took them a while to get the neighborhood back in order, but I don't know, it's weird. I've never lived in a place that was so close to the possibility of tornadoes before. Oh, absolutely, Renee. Like, honestly, I only just, let's see, we're using ultramarine light again. Uh, I only just now, like before stream tonight, put away a bunch of the pencils that I had out last time. So yeah, uh, my desk is usually just a royal disaster. I try to keep up with it. I do. Yeah, it was not fun, Deborah. <laughs> all right, cobalt turquoise. Thank God for Audible, though, because that kept, kept the kids pretty distracted when all of it was going down. What I did learn, though, from this particular instant, uh, in instance? Incident. Particular incident. Is that I need to be quite a bit more prepared in the sense that, like, I have... This stuff, like I have an emergency radio that you don't need a battery for, you wind it to charge it and it's got like an SOS button and a backup flashlight and technically you can charge your phone with it. Like it's super handy. But when it came down to it, I didn't even know where it was. Steve had to help me find it. And then we have these battery powered little air conditioning units because the closet was really warm that we were in and none of that was charged. And like, no joke, like I was in the kitchen, I'm using Viridian now, and I was trying to think of what to grab for food in case, you know, basically you're planning for the worst, hoping for the best. And so, you know, I had to get some food to put in the closet with us, et cetera, et cetera. You know what I grabbed? I grabbed like beans and corn because I just wasn't thinking and it was just pure chaos. And, and then I forgot the can opener. But we know I have a rough history with can openers. So I did remember to grab some, some gluten-free crackers though. And I got the kids snacks. Did I think to grab the applesauce? Absolutely not, but I did remember water. And so I just told Steve, I was just like, yeah, I need to, I need to maybe, maybe we need a, a family plan of these are, you know, a list on the wall of in the event of a tornado yet again, these are the things we should grab. And that maybe, just maybe I should keep my emergency supplies in a place where I know where it's at and I don't need to go searching for it while we're, while listening to see if a tornado's getting close. Although they always tell you, don't wait until you see or hear a tornado, like just 
get in your shelter. And here I am running around grabbing beans and corn with no can opener. So, you know, I'm clearly the person you want around in an emergency. Steve was definitely... Uh, no, there were no pencils. <laughs> the cats really didn't want to be in the closet, so that was super fun. It's not a big closet, but we did get helmets for the kids. I was wearing slippers, though. In hindsight, I probably should have put on, like, actual shoes. See, Deborah, that's brilliant. I need to do that. See, we we need to get a Rubbermaid tote for our emergency stuff. So we can just grab it and get in there. I found that other AC unit, by the way. Go figure. Mm-hmm. All right, let's grab, let's do Terra Verde Deep again. Yeah, that's what we need to do. Case of water. M -R -M oh, the military rations, gotcha. Blankets, a comfy chair, and a portable potty. Oh, see, I didn't even think about that. But I mean, we don't have, where is that Terra Verde? I know I've used it once already. We don't have a basement, so it was literally like we chose our downstairs uh, innermost closet and, you know, we emptied it out, took everything down that could possibly fall on our heads. Uh, is this it? Yeah, there it is. Um, and then we brought everything in that we would need, you know, with water and everything. We have, um, we have portable batteries. Like I said, I grabbed um, a couple of the hard drives and everything. I just, I don't know, I guess it just caught me off guard. <laughs> I grabbed my cat and Karen Dash and Derwent pencil cases. Learn how to color leave. Oh, I'm so glad, Pamela. Well, the funny thing is, is I made that new video because I had a really old video, like a super old video where I used, it was Prismacolor. I used, what was it? There was like Kelly Green, Pale Sage, and some other green. Anyway, it, it's one of my more popular videos. I mean, it's been around for ages, but I was just like, well, dang, man, if people want to know how to color a leaf, I'm going to, I'm going to make a newer updated video. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm glad that's, that was, that was my hope. I mean, it's not totally accurate now because it's not out of every Johanna Basford book because it's out of, out of every Johanna Basford book then, but not now. But yeah, so water and, you know, beans and corn is fine, but maybe bring a can opener. I mean, I don't know really in what scenario I was imagining that we would need it, but either way, I just, I was, I was panicking just a little bit because it was getting uncomfortably close. And I was just like, why am I feeling dizzy? Because the air pressure changes. I mean, it was that close. When I say like it literally, it landed in town and it literally hopped over our house. Like the weatherman was zoomed in on our neighborhood and Steve and I were just looking at each other like, uh, okay, this is actually happening. Oh, I'm glad. Right, Angela, that's an old one. I don't even think there's music. I think it's silent. I've got some pretty old videos up there. My very first one was this leaf from Secret Garden, I think it was. Okay. The one that flew over us, though, and then landed in the neighboring town, what did it end up being, Steve, an EF2? Yeah, it ended up being an EF2, which was not cool. What size was the one that actually landed in town? Well, that was the same one, right? It just gathered strength? Well, same storm, but not the same person. Well, yeah. Do we know what size the one that was uh, that landed in town? Us. Yeah. That one is an EF one. EF one, okay. And then it had started southwest of us as an EF two. Yeah. Either way, it was. Yeah, it was surprising. Okay. Right? Oh, absolutely, Lisa. Like, we need, you know, like, uh, growing up, we had, like, in case of fire, this is where the family meets kind of thing. Like, we need to have one for tornadoes now. Okay, so let's get, let's see, these are these gel pens here. So we want pink, purple, and blue for this one. So let's grab the blue. Let's do pink. And let's do this purple. 
I mean, it took them a little while to categorize it because it was nighttime, so nobody could actually see it. So later they had to do surveys of like, this is, this is where it landed. This was how big of a path of destruction. This was how long it lasted. Like these are the dimensions of it, like all that kind of stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and do pink for the stars. Well, and where we lived before, there just wasn't a ton of risk as far as whether or not our location. I feel like things that are like directly in town are less likely to get hit. It's more ones that are maybe like out of town or, or something like that. Anyway, we were less likely to, but I think we're at slightly more at risk where we're at now. So just, it is probably not a bad idea to create some sort of emergency game plan in the event that that happens again. God forbid, because I'm not, I'm not relishing that, but you know, fall and springtime always ups that risk. I mean, and Steve's usually a pretty, a pretty chill guy as far as things are concerned. He doesn't deal with, you know, anxiety really or anything, but, um, I got that one a little schmoogy. It's okay though. Uh, tornadoes are one of the things that freak him out quite a bit. Oh, exciting. Clothes, utensils, food, meds, lights. Yes, I did remember to grab, to grab, to grab that. Um, Renee at a glance for some reason, I read that as lights, radio, and then because I was glancing at what you were saying as I was glancing at the screen, my brain registered that as Harry Potter. So, you know, it's always good to grab uh, Harry Potter when you are. <laughs> doing that yes refresh the food and clothes absolutely okay um well you know harry potter he's important you know he's got that wizard harry wand potter. harry potter i was joking though because so chuck norris um chuck norris has oh wait let me let me move on first um should we do another i don't know we've got so much purple and blue we've done a green we've done yellow we've done orange let's look at uh, what color we want to do this one here? Let's do, I don't want to do browns. I don't want to do browns. We could do another blue. Hmm. Ooh, turquoise. Yeah, why don't we do like a, like a blue green? Like turquoise is really nice. That's pretty. We could do a turquoise. Um, I was doing, Oh, thank you. Yeah, they're like this pastel kind of kind of rainbowy. I need to do them again because my nails are starting to grow out a little bit. But yeah, they're like a pastel kind of rainbow thing going on. Um, but I was talking with my my sister and 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 my mom, and we were just talking about the uh, lights, radio, magic wand, use an extension chart. Exactly. <laughs> um, but uh, we were just talking about instead, and so Chuck Norris. Uh, Chuck Norris owns a house in Navasota. And uh, so I was joking with him. I was just like, you know why uh, Navasota never gets, uh, never gets tornadoes down there? It's because Chuck Norris stares them down. And then whatever flying debris is headed towards Navasota, Chuck Norris just, oh, drop the pencil. He just uh, roundhouse kicks the, uh, the debris and then the tornado goes, oh, okay, never mind. And it turns around and it goes the other way. So that's why if you ever want to come to Texas and you want to make sure that you don't get hit by a tornado, just move to Navasota because Chuck Norris will protect you with his stare and roundhouse kicks. <laughs> okay, we're going to put these in here while we do paint. So we just need Chuck Norris to come move here. That's all. He'll save the day, right? how that works all right so we are going to do turquoise now exactly chuck and stare down we will never have to worry again oh he totally could have like he just went up there and just pow and then the funnel cloud would be like oh never mind and then it turned into like a nice little wispy miss we'd be good okay so turquoise is on this row and it is five over so one two three four five here we go Wow, would help if I had gotten that wet. There we go. There we go. Here, you can move. Let's 
gonna work. For some reason, my stream deck is not working. Let's do that, there we go, okay. Hey, man, it's a thing, just saying. I don't know the last time Navasota has been hit by any kind of natural disaster. So what is the common denominator? Chuck Norris, clearly. We just need to like clone Chuck Norris and then there'll never be a natural disaster ever again. That's how that works, right? <laughs> Debra, ever hear a tornado cry? Chuck has. <laughs> Tall tales. I'm telling you, Chuck Norris is the answer, clearly. Clearly. Steve, what do you think? Could Chuck Norris make a tornado cry? Steve, you tired? Doing your spreadsheets? Yeah. Steve's over there working hard. I'm over here painting candy. Shannon! Okay, Shannon, do you or do you not agree Chuck Norris would save the day? That's clearly the best way to avoid any natural disaster. Just threaten them with a Chuck Norris roundhouse kick and call it a day. I think it would solve all our problems. Okay. So I think what we should do is do the rest of our paint real quick. Because I'm thinking a yellow one maybe here. And then maybe another green one up here. We just had so much of that purple kind of blue, pink. I don't necessarily want to do that on any more of them. Short of this one that we're doing. Ooh. Yeah, Thor Thor might be good. He'd, ha he'd have a little bit more control of the weather. Sorry, Chuck Norris. If Thor's available. Oh man, now Chuck Norris is gonna roundhouse kick, roundhouse kick me because I'm choosing Thor over him. Gosh, dang it. <laughs> All right, gonna dry this real quick. And then yeah, we'll do a yellow for this one. And then another green one for that one. Okay, so let's do, ooh, let's do Naples yellow. That looks nice. It's kind of an orangey yellow, so it's not the exact same yellow. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's got mixed with something else. That's, that's not a pleasant yellow, hang on. That's supposed to be much more bright. That did not end up bright. Hang on. Okay, that's a little bit better. <laughs> Blue! There we go, that's better. That yellow was coming out a lot more uh, questionable bodily fluid yellow. That was not, that was not what I wanted to express with this color. I might put some brighter yellow on top of it just to balance that out a little bit. Yeah, let's get a little bit of this yellow here. Add that to the top. Okay, let's dry this.
gonna lighten up as it dries. And then let's do jade green on this one up here. Okay. And then we should be all done with the watercolors. Oh, nice, Ronnie. Is that is that out in theaters? All right, so jade green is the second color we have here. Oh, I almost put that in the sharpener. I'm clearly paying attention. I don't know, now that the pandemic's lessening, are they even gonna be doing any um, movies that aren't in the theater? anymore because I know that they're switching to a lot of them like only in theaters versus out in the theater and Disney Plus or whatever. I suppose it would be HBO, wouldn't it? Isn't that where all the Harry Potters are now? Or did they move that off there? I don't know. I haven't checked in a while. Morbius. I don't think I've heard of that one. What's Morbius? It makes me just think of Mobius, not the guy from uh, The Matrix. Morpheus, that's who it is, okay. I knew if I got that wrong, Steve would pipe up. Hi, Della. Oh, good night, Ev. You heading to sleep? I don't know if I missed anything up there. Thanks for being here, hon. Get some rest. I'm so sorry you had to travel though so much this week. Okay. Oh, it's a Marvel movie. I'll have to look. I do enjoy Marvel movies. I'm really looking forward to the multiverse when it comes out. I think that's good because it'll dry while we color, but let's go ahead and move the paint. Okay, and now we are strictly on to pencils. So for this one, let's go ahead and go with, we haven't had too many green candies. Let's go with some green on here. Let's get phthalo green, castle green, and mint green. Phthalo green, castle green, and mint green. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Okay, so let's shift this and we'll zoom on in. There we go. Okay. And then let's do this one here. Okay, and then let's grab our castle green. And then our mint green. Ooh, that's phthalo green. That was almost the wrong color. Let's 
also get our Viridian, which I think we already have out. Hold up, I'm gonna grab our pencils out here. Thought we had out already. Yeah, I don't see it. Should be, Mr. Viridian, aha, is that it? Yes, Viridian, there we are. I'm gonna darken this one up just a little bit. Hey, phthalo green. Then let's see, this one is the mint green. And actually I wanna grab the Prismacolor white. brush all right now for this next one let's do a little bit of pink on it in fact we're going to go crazy here and I'm not even gonna look at the color chart I'm just gonna look at the pencils that I have here and those are the ones that we're using so this one is cadmium red throwing caution to the wind All right, and then let's see, let's grab a little bit of cherry pink. I mean, you know I'm going crazy when I don't consult the al my almighty color chart. I have a hard time not checking that chart. Okay, and then what is this one? This one is grenadine light, sure. Let's do that. Okay, then we have a little, ooh, you know what? We should do the ends here as well. There we go. And then the cherry pink. And the grenadine light. Okay. And then the triangles, let's do a little bit of blue. <laughs> right, Angela? I just, I got, I got to check my chart. Okay, and then where's our light blue? What is this? This is cobalt turquoise green. Where is our cobalt turquoise? There it is. Well, thanks, Christina. I appreciate it. Is it still in frame? Yes. Okay. There we go. All right, let's use our white. Thanks, Deborah. I have a question for you all. Just because you listen to me essentially talk to myself for two hours, three times a week, does it sound like, obviously not all the time, but I kind of get the sinking feeling that I have adapted a little bit not much. It's only every now and then I'll say something and I'll go, wow, that sounded mildly Texan. To those of you with trained ears, see, now I'm trying to be very specific with my pronunciations. Does it sound like I have picked up any kind of a Texas accent? I mean, we've been here, how long have we been here? 10 years? We've been here 10 years. 11 years. Holy heck. 
feel like we've been here for a while. Exactly. Sometimes you just have to go for it. And I'm just wondering if, if Texas has begun to rub off on me. What? Full blown? No way. All right. Purple Lake Deep. Yes? Oh, no. I don't mean to. But sometimes I just like, I don't know. I, I catch I catch a whiff of it every now and then. Yes? Oh. See, we gotta we gotta go back north. Steve, do you think I've picked up a twang? Dang it. Dang it! I have just a little bit of Have you really? Probably. Didn't you say that you said howdy to someone unironically at some point? No, I say howdy all the time. You say it all the time? Who even are you? I don't even know you. <laughs> you said y'all, that's what it is. You could say something, but I didn't. Oh my god. <laughs> y'all sound just fine. <laughs> back in, in Oregon, you would say howdy. Okay, so maybe howdy isn't so bad. But I just, I find that sometimes when I hear myself talk, like it has a little bit of, it, more of an uptick in the twang than it should probably have. I mean, I was born, I was born in the north, so. I mean, I didn't feel good saying it. <laughs> Like it felt unnatural. Like All right, Mauve. Did you just like walk away from the conversation and get chills? Uh, no, it was actually when I looked at um, my camera. Oh. <laughs> uh, I know, and I don't mean to, Kenny. Like, I keep thinking, like, I was not born and raised here, like, at all. Like, I should be sticking to. Because the kids, the kids don't. I don't know, the kids don't have. Texas accents. No. So that's because they live there. With oh. us, yeah. All right, let's see. Let's use Indian red light. <clears throat> see, and it's not in everything. It's not in everything. I just, sometimes I'll say something and I'll be like, oh, that sounded not the way I used to sound. <laughs> We've clearly just lived here way too long. See, what we need to do is just, you know, move to Scotland and live there for the next 20 years. I'm, I'd be good with that. It's subtle. Yeah, I, I think I agree. Okay, Grenadine Light. Would you be cool with that, Steve? We just picked up and moved to Scotland. Okay, what about anywhere like in Europe? Okay, if they said, you have to go live in Europe for the rest of your life, but you can choose anywhere, where would you choose in Europe? Oh, probably somewhere like Norway or Sweden. Why Norway or Sweden? Um, um, That's fair. Don't they have Scotland really good, like, what'd you say? Scotland would be fine. I don't know why, but I thought you said Stalin would be fine. I'm like, wait, what? First of all, he's dead now. But second of all, wait, what? <laughs> okay, let's do some little light highlights. We'd have to get used to the weather up there, but I like it stormy. Though I wouldn't mind the rain. Or we could do Ireland. Ireland would be cool. You know, Renee, the fact, like, the truth of the matter is a lot of my family has moved away from there already. And if Steve were to do something for teaching, we probably wouldn't choose Oregon just because, I don't know, the teacher situation in Oregon, the school systems need work, like a lot of work as far as pay goes and everything else. And so, I mean, I suppose if he had a job offer there and it paid really well, then it might be worth it. But... I don't even know that Oregon is on our radar at this point. I don't know. Steve, what do you think? Uh, I, I wouldn't want to... I wouldn't work. rule it out. I wouldn't want to work there, but I wouldn't mind living there if that makes sense. Like, doing it on the border. 
Oh, uh, you like if you got a job like in Washington or something? Yeah. No, that's fair. <laughs> right, Deborah? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Ronnie. Um, actually, let's do let's do green for the stars. Oh wait, wait, wait! No gel pen yet. We gotta do the background first. Uh, let's grab intense blue. The intense blue is intense. I'm proud of you, sweet. Where is? Do I already have it out? Hang on. Intense blue. Oh, it's right there. Ha. Huh. We already got that pamphlet out. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Don't come to Tennessee if you're scared of them spinning tunnels. Have you guys had any tornadoes touch down over there yet, Shannon? I know that like Wizard of Oz, Dorothy is in Kansas, but does Kansas really get that many tornadoes? There's a new study I saw that shows um, places that are most at risk for tornadoes and the term tornado alley is kind of outdated now. It's mostly the south that's, like they still get a lot in the middle but yeah. of the predicted and projected danger, it's a lot of south now. Oh. Well, that's comforting. No, like, I mean, like, <laughs> Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi. Ugh, Louisiana, they cannot catch a break, man. It just keeps getting pummeled, everything. Don't need to move here, just visit. That's fair. That's fair. I would like to go back at some point. When? I haven't got a clue. But at some point, it would be nice. I'd just go visit Oregon. Yeah, it would be nice. Let's use a little bit of Cypress Green. Your mother would be thrilled. And the kids would love to also, and I miss it. I mean, I grew up in Oregon. I love it, the coast there. I have never been to an ocean that is warm. I don't think you, well, yeah. no, where, yeah. She went to friggin' Greece, man. <laughs> Did you? Well, actually, the, the water where I went well, on now, that's never. You went to Greece! Yeah, I take it back. Yeah. Has that several, lots of touchdowns? Ah, okay, 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 that's fair. Is that an ocean? It was the Mediterranean. Was the water warm? <laughs> then you just do your spreadsheet over there, mister. You don't, you don't, no. Zhuzh! You don't, oh, no, I have a whole bag of zhuzh with your name on it. Here you go, it's for you. <laughs> uh, what is it? They're making a Where the Crawdads Sing into a movie. I feel like I know that name, but I've never actually read it. What's the book about? You're laying down on the floor, Steve. Why are you laying on the floor? Chat, Steve's laying down on the floor. All right, and then let's do green. Kind of the blue green of the gel pens. Renee, shush, you're not helping. Oh, Renee. Renee said that is the sea. Well, the sea is the same as the ocean, so, right? Huh? Sea and ocean, it's the same thing, right? Yeah. Yes, it is. Here's your back, shush. <laughs> the sea is completely the shush, shush. No, shush. No, you got to go to Greece. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Chat, I'm not bitter. I it swear. Was barely Greece. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Oh my gosh. Are you serious right now? Barely Greece? You spent a whole 24 hours there. Barely Greece. Oh my gosh. You are talking to someone who has never been to Greece. It wasn't mainland. Shannon said spreadsheet ain't gonna do itself, Steve. It's already done. Send off its email. All right, well, aren't you fancy, mister? I've been to Greece, but only a little bit of Greece. You've been to Scotland. I'm not saying I haven't, but I didn't say I've been to a little bit of Scotland. I've been to a little bit of Germany because I never left the airport. You went to Greece, you walked on the dang beach, stuck your feet in the dang sand, and enjoyed your time there. So I don't want to... <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not bitter. Hi, 
take care. Shh, shh. Renee, you're not helping. He's been to Greece. How we went to Prague for two weeks? <laughs> yeah, Greece is the word, exactly. Um, you know, you want to know what Renee said? You can read chat. I'm not reading it. Yeah, Mr. I've been to Greece. <laughs> we try, Ronnie. We try. Okay. The Aegean was called. I'm not I don't want to talk to you anymore, Mr. I've been to the Aegean. Anyway. <laughs> I've been to the Pacific Ocean. That's where I've been. Um, okay, so we got all of the backgrounds done. Yes, I am heading out as well, Kenny. Thank you for being here. And we got the candy done. I'm going to finish up these last two because honestly, this would probably be another 45 minutes um, at least. And I'll be honest, I am pretty, pretty tired. Wait, Brain. Wait, is Brian here? Yeah, Brian was here. <laughs> Brian says, okay, I'm here. I got Steve's back. Brian, you're not helping. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, anyway, so I'll finish off these last two candies, but it's pretty much done. It was just kind of a fun little colorful page and we learned how to fix paint mistakes and it's all good. All right, well, I am super toasty in here. I'm gonna head out. Thank you everyone for hanging out with me and being here. And um, I will put a poll up at some point, figure out what we're gonna do on Monday because I don't know what yet. Get her some peanut butter for her jelly. Wow, burn Renee. Burn, although you're also true. Um, okay, I'm heading out. Thanks everyone for being here. Keep being awesome. And I will see you all Monday night. Actually, yeah, I'll see you Monday night. I did briefly debate about maybe changing Monday night stream to a Sunday stream. However, I know that would coincide with church for some of you. So I don't know, it's, it's a thought. It's a thought. It's an idea I've been tossing around just because Monday, like, we have a lot of stuff going on Monday's night and it might be easier if I just move it to Sunday and we could do like a weekend daytime stream, a Wednesday daytime stream, and then a Friday night stream. So. <laughs> wow, really Steve? <laughs> Way to call me out there. All right, anyway, just an idea I'm tossing around. Um, I'll keep y'all posted. All right, everyone, have a great weekend and I will chat with you all later. There we go.